everyone, Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters. So I am creating this super cute layout, if I do say so myself, using the festive fox cut file over in the Confessions of the Paper Attic Etsy shop. I will link the Etsy shop down below. I'll also uh, put a link directly to the festive fox cut file down below. And I'll also put a link to the Confessions of the Paper Attic Facebook group as well. If you are not a member of the Facebook group, I highly recommend that you go and join that. Virginia gives away a free cut file once a fortnight. Um, and it's amazing. How could you not? You also get um, inside uh, like exclusive tips and tricks and the inside goss on when she's having sales or anything like that. So I definitely recommend joining in with that. And also it's a bit of a like um, open for all sharing group. So there's no real restrictions on what you can share. So there's heaps of inspiration that gets shared in there to really get you going with your layouts. So speaking of getting going with your layout, first of all, I want to apologize for the shadow that happens in this video. Uh, I thought I had some really gorgeous natural light, which I did, but of course the sun doesn't stay still. And as the video progresses, that shadow down the bottom of my page just gets huger and huger and huger. So I do apologize for that. Um, I should have just closed my curtains and used false light, but we learn something new every day. So I am using uh, my Kaiser Craft collection from 2018. I can't remember what it's called. Peace and Joy, maybe. Uh, I don't think it's available anymore anyway. But uh, that is how I've scrapped all of my Christmas photos in my album this year. So I apologize if you're getting sick of seeing this same collection over and over. But I really quite, this year I've um, really embraced using the same collection. So for each month, I use my kit club. And then for Christmas, I've used this collection. So for example, you know, January is using the January kit club, February is using the February kit club, so on and so forth. So for December, I used my December kit club, but I also snuck in um, four or five layouts using just this Christmas uh, as well. So it all just sort of is matchy matchy and all cohesive and very much me. <laughs> I like things orderly and organized. So I started off just using this collection and then realized I've, I've, I'm almost run out. I've made five layouts and I still have one more to go. I've got a sixth, a sixth one to do. And I've got like literally two pieces of ephemera left. I do have a little bit on the sticker sheet, but it's all really huge stuff. Uh, so I'm hoping to use the really big bits on my sixth layout, but any little bits and pieces, I've pretty much used them all. I'm basically done. So I had to dig into my stash because of course I've got more Christmas. It's just not from this collection. And so I pulled out my reject shop collections. They're from a long time ago, like three years ago, four years ago. Uh, but only a few of those sort of matched or tied in with the feel of this um, particular layout. So that was okay. I then put out a sticker sheet that I had. I only have the sticker sheet for this. It's the uh, crepe paper fa la la collection. Um, and I was able to use a little bit more of that sticker sheet as well. I'm slowly bashing some of my Christmas stuff, but of course I seem to bash it and buy more all at the same time. So I'm never quite getting to the end, but slowly but surely we will get there. So I backed my gorgeous festive fox cut file using all scraps. Um, some of it is from the collection that I'm using. So like the hat and the scarf is from the collection that I'm using, but the face and the actual orange fox is just out of my scraps folder. That really glittery gold paper um, is actually when my son, my eldest son had his first birthday, I cut out his name in super big letters, um, blue letters. So the J, the C and the K were in big, bright blue letters. And then the A, I actually painted the whole letter A in glue and covered it in glitter. So it's a super real glittery piece of paper. Uh, and I didn't want to throw it away because... It was really glittery. So every now and then I sneak it into a cut file. And um, so that's what that is. So it's got a little bit of blue coming through behind it, but not too much. You mostly just see the gold glitter. 
and it's super sparkly and shiny. Uh, I also got gifted that little paper clip as well. Um, I'm slowly, I'm slowly learning how to sort of just layer those into a layout and just add them on to give a little pop of something different, a little bit of texture, a little bit of dimension, just a little pop of something different onto your page, which is really cute. I also got gifted those gorgeous little gold stars, which are like squishy puffy, squishy foam. They're so cute. I've used all of those now because I just put them all on this layout. And I'm almost done, people. This is, was a super quick and easy layout. When you've got very short supplies and such a gorgeous big cut file, it certainly made embellishing it quite simple. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this layout. I hope um, you have finished all of your Christmas scrapping because it's obviously the end of, or getting to the end of January now. I have one more to go but just secretly, I haven't even started my December daily apart from like the two pages I did for you guys. So I've got a lot to go on my December daily. It might be a Christmas in July thing, maybe. Oh, that scares me though. I can't even imagine keeping it going until July. So hopefully I can get that finished in February. That would be lovely. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Don't forget to check the description box down below for links to the Facebook group, to the Confessions of a Paper Addict Etsy shop and a direct link to this particular cut file. Bye everyone!